Hello and welcome to Relatively Rich Life. I'm Maya. And I'm Henry. Today we're going to be discussing 17 things that we dislike about our Lance travel trailer. So let's dive right in. Number one is going to be the cosmetic bumper. Guys, what is the point of a cosmetic bumper? To look like a bumper. <laughs> to look like a bumper like i've never <laughs> even known that there was a such thing i think the technical term is that it has a hollowed interior so you can keep in there your poop tube yeah the dookie tube so anyway the thing that we really dislike about this bumper is that it is not meant to hold weight so when we attached our bike rack to this bumper it started to break the weld yeah so again that's something that we just really don't like about it i mean henry had to anchor it to the ladder and do all these things just to attach our bikes to it and not having a hitch on the back as well just creates like the additional need to buy more gadgets and attach it i i don't know so that's one thing that we really dislike about our trailer. Number two for me is gonna have to be the awkward awning arms. Definitely. Yeah, we really dislike that. We cannot open our door when we're extending or closing our awning. Someone literally has to be on the outside letting us know that the arm has cleared the doorway. Yeah, I just really don't understand why they designed it like that. It's not like a huge problem, but I mean, if you're just pulling into a site and you're alone camping, you wouldn't know if your awning is like too close to something that you're parked next to. Right. Like you would have to have someone stand out and tell you. So right. that actually leads us to the third thing that I personally dislike about our Lance travel trailer. The front and the rear doors have this frosted glass, which is really frustrating because some days I want to look out the window and unfortunately I can't because it's all frosted. I feel like they should have had an option for like a tinted glass or something like that, like the remainder of right. the windows, but they didn't do that. So I'm pretty sure we could modify it, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. They probably could have just as easily put a clear door and a little shade yeah. for privacy. Number four on the list is going to have to be the little jack. Yeah, it's, it's micro guys. Unfortunately, every time we're ready to set up the rig, I got to use some kind of leveling block or jack extension in order to get the RV at a level height. Yeah. So a longer jack is definitely more practical. So sticking with the exterior, number five would have to be the outdoor shower. Now I was super excited that our trailer had the outdoor shower, mm -hmm. uh, specifically for washing up the dog. However, the first time I used it, I was quite disappointed at the water pressure. It literally like trickles out and the hose is like yay big. <laughs> so it's just kind of ridiculous I don't know like why they designed it that way and I thought maybe it was something just with our trailer but mm. after coming through the forums it appears that that's actually pretty typical for some of the Lance travel trailer models so it's just something that we think could be designed a little bit better number six on the list for me is gonna have to be no outdoor kitchen we have discovered that additional outdoor kitchen space is pretty much essential when you're grilling like on a Blackstone yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily need the burners outside, but to have that additional refrigerator right. space and the access sink. to a sink, I mean, we could just set up the Blackstone next to it and that would be great, but we don't have that option in our trailer. And of course we knew this when we bought it, but you don't realize what you need until you're in the trailer and you're using it. So, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Right, and then you don't have to keep going in and out of the rig to get items while you're cooking. Yeah. That can get really old. Yeah, true that. And that ties in really closely with number seven, which is our limited counter space inside our kitchen. Oh my God, it's literally a sink and then a tiny little space and then the stove. I mean, we can barely fit our Vitamix on the countertop. Everything that we put on the countertop, if we sit it there, we have to make sure that the sink inserts are pretty much in place so it won't fall into the sink. I mean, there's like no counter space whatsoever. And the little extension that you can extend from the edge, but that little section is really not that sturdy and it's pretty much blocking the whole doorway. So it's not very practical to keep up all the time. Number eight is our limited food storage. Okay, so here's the thing. The rig is built to accommodate up to seven people. However, 
as far as food is concerned, you only have enough space for maybe a family of four. And that's a limited space for a family of four. That might get you through a long weekend or something like that. When we take long trips, it's very hard to find space for all of our food. And that's one thing that I really don't like about our trailer. Yeah, and we literally have to make additional trips to the grocery store because of lack of space. So we have to wait until we create space before we can go shopping. Yeah, so that's kind of a bummer. And again, that's one of those things we couldn't have foreseen when we bought the trailer. Right. Number nine for me is definitely going to have to be the lack of trash can space. The fact that there's really no place to put a trash can made it really annoying to us because we kept moving the thing around all over the rig to find a practical spot and we just couldn't find it. So eventually we had to do a little modification to make that fix. I'm really glad to hear that the newer Lances pretty much have a trash space already established. Yeah, I believe so. Number 10 is going to be a limited wall space. Now, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous for anyone who might not already have an RV or a travel trailer, but you want to start using your vertical space when there's limited space in your rig. And unfortunately, there's really not a lot of places to hang command hooks. They really utilize almost every space on that rig. Yeah, and I mean, while that's pretty awesome, I feel like, you know, we needed places to hang coats and little decor items and <laughs> maybe that's not like a necessity but i did want to put up some cute little pictures and stuff and unfortunately there's like literally nowhere to put that stuff which brings me to number 11 which is another huge pet peeve of mine the freaking magazine racks that they have pre-installed i just feel like they're poor design there's like these cubbies inside of the wall with these little holes i've put magazines in there and they get all like crumpled up and you know don't stay nice and neat and then also things get thrown in there and you can't see inside That's and well. they're hard to reach mm -hmm. so I mean I just feel like that area could have been better utilized as maybe an extra cabinet space or like a little area for dirty laundry or end tables for the couch yeah or a table that could flip out i just the whole magazine rack thing i just i, I don't understand that design yeah. not to mention they put one on the other side too which is a little bit more practical because it is an actual rack just not my thing i know that one is not as important to you but no, but it's definitely a poor design. Yeah. Number 12 for me is going to have to be the loud AC unit. Although at night, it pretty much does help us sleep because it drowns out some of that wildlife noise. But it is pretty loud throughout the day, especially when you're trying to watch TV. Number 13 is going to be those small bunks in the back. Now, guys, I mean, yeah, it's great that this is a bunk house, but really, I feel like these bunks are made for like little kids. Definitely. We have two teenage children, and I find that they have a hard time climbing in and out of these bunks and our son who is claustrophobic literally has probably this much space between his face and the ceiling right so it's almost like being in an mri machine or something right it's kind of weird yeah it's a pretty snug fit up there for him and it took him a while to get used to it yeah for sure number 14 for me is gonna have to be the bathroom privacy the lens has a really cool option where you can extend the door and basically close off the rear of the rig but there's these cracks that are very visible. So somebody can clearly see you on the toilet <laughs> or clearly peek and look into the shower. So very often we have to add things to block the visibility into the bathroom. Yeah, and even if we put up towels to block the visibility, our dog always finds a way to find the smallest crack to come and peek at us. He's so creepy. <laughs> Number 15 is the shower door. I don't understand this whole like plastic looking accordion shower door thing mm -hmm. that lance has going on that is like not my thing i like to be able to either change the shower curtain or have like a solid glass door i just feel like it looks really weird and there's little gaps in there and i feel like water leaks out so i feel like again that's another poor design something that you know they could definitely improve upon which is surprising because everything else is so high quality yeah so that's definitely something that i don't like about that bathroom so number 16 for me is gonna have to be the size of the actual bathroom when you close the door it's a pretty tight squeeze in there when you're sitting on a toilet trying to handle your business 
Definitely. <laughs> so the fact that you can extend it is a boost, but closing the door makes it really tight in there. Yeah, so just imagine sitting on the toilet and your knees being like almost touching the wall in front of you. Similar to an airplane bathroom. It might be smaller than an airplane bathroom. Maybe. So 17 on the list is going to be hard to find parts. I don't know if you guys caught our video of me falling through the roof. So since that occurred, I had to replace the exterior and the interior shower dome. And I'm still struggling trying to find a part to replace it. So yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not like you see lances all over the road like some of your other more common travel trailers. So having said that, finding parts is a little bit more tricky. Okay, well that pretty much sums up the things we don't like about our lance. But before you go, we just wanna let you know that RVing is not the only thing that we are passionate about. Henry and I love a financial freedom and we have created a playlist with several videos showing how we were able to pay off over $100,000 in debt. So we'll link that up here somewhere. <laughs> Be sure to check that out if you're interested. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our latest videos. And on that note, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.